It's just like, yeah, but yeah, yeah, on paper, you look at, you know, I'm boxing someone who's got 20 something years' experience compared to my 10 years' experience. Former world champion, young, tough guy, been in the big stage, had big fights, etc. Et 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 and all that other nonsense. So, yeah, I say it is, you know. I should have really said Joshua aside because that's your only defeat in your career. So Joshua aside, is this your your hardest fight? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But you know, like it's different time, isn't it? You know, that time I was there, and now I'm here. So you know, but yeah, it's a very hard fight. Very, very, it's a very hard fight. You know, I mean, and he just took down major the distance. You know, like from a champion, you know, what two or three differences, well, whatever. So you know, I'm top amateur in boxing since he was four years old or some crap. So yeah. Yeah. The hour this fight was announced, I, I thought to myself, this seems a, an unnecessary risk for you to take this fight. Mm. I still kind of kind of think that as well. Um, I look at it this way. I sit back and wait two years, I know I'm going to fight away a year, being active. I'm just doing nothing like other guys do. I would just fight, have big fights, risky fights, stay sharp, stay mentally and physically tuned, and just keep moving myself proving to myself that I am this liver and I can beat these guys world title or not. You know, Parker, top contender, just lost his world title or feels he's got a lot to prove and he's coming hungry and he's young, you know, and he's frustrated as well by the last fight. So yeah, you know, it's, all, it's a great fight. Let's get it done. You know, I want to give the fans a good fight. I want them to remember when I'm done and gone. But like, you know, this guy was a Chihuahua and he fought everyone and he really had from no one because that is my position. You can sit, sit around and wait. Yeah, I think Dylan's right, man. Judging from what Parker's saying alone, you know, he's really looking for a knockout. He wants to prove to people that the Joshua fight was a misstep by him. And, you know, guys, I want to really point out the fact that Joshua has knocked out 99% of his opponents, right? Comes through to Joseph Parker, a real threat. Somebody who not too long ago was considered part of the tip of the spear in my eyes he's still considered part of the tip of the spear man he's right there you know and i think he really has a point to prove because the spectacle of it all may have gotten to him or maybe like joshua was, was truly the better man that day you know he came through with a solid strategy to outbox joseph parker right i think joseph parker coming off of that loss has a world of hurt to prove why i i it, it wasn't too far off my i don't know how to put this man i it it, it wasn't too far fetched for me to assume that joshua could have lost that fight i i don't know why but i didn't feel confident as to joshua winning that fight and his performance you know it sort of proved it because he didn't finish Parker. But if Parker goes into this fight trying to knock out Dylan White, I think it could end bad. Simply because, well, Dylan has been through the ringer, man. You know? He's been through the ringer. I, I don't think he's going to outbox Parker. But, man, boxing has never been this good, man. Boxing has never been this good. And the heavyweight division has always been... A vision board of boxing the heavyweight division look bad chances are the whole of boxing is bad but this is this is insane man. you know i'm even willing to say during the hey days of mayweather boxing was never this good you know i mean the hey days of mayweather when, when you'd watch him fight the fight card itself was absolute garbage you just fast forward to his fight and his fight if you were a fan of technique, you would watch. But if you were a fan of violence, you, you wouldn't watch. You'd watch the first three rounds and then get bored, take a nap, you know? Now, man, you you talking about, you know, you're talking about real heavy hitters. This is, wow. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. This hit a spot. Cause Tucky says we supposed to set up shop here. Hmm? Hash to die. Yeah, this is it. Set up anywhere inside where we got the white flags.